Another week, and a plethora of Microsoft Flight Simulator news to bring you folks, from some sneak peeks and glimpses into the A330neo by Headwind Simulations, which is available free for PC users by the way, to further updates by the Phoenix team in relation to their latest A320 Block 1 release, as well as massive updates made to the Volanta flight tracking add-on and more, we have tons to check out in today's video. Now, before proceeding, if you like what you see throughout the video, make sure to like and comment below. Your engagement fuels our passion. And of course, in order not to miss out on future content, do subscribe and hit the notification bell as well. If you're ready for even more, join our free Discord community for lively discussions and to connect with fellow fans of the channel as well as aviation and flight sim enthusiasts. Finally, a quick word from our sponsor for today's video before you can comfortably sit back, relax, and get right into the meat of things. Now, long-term viewers of the channel might know that I'm not much of a bush pilot or GA aircraft flyer. I love flying large airliners, which usually involves long periods of time where I put the plane on cruise and just kind of sit there. So instead of rotting in front of my monitor for hours on end, I prefer to go out and do things, whether it may be a run, doing my laundry, enjoying a meal outside, but there's always that lingering feeling about how my flight is doing, whether it's all peaceful or if I'm in an uncontrolled nosedive about to kill all of my passengers. Well, with today's sponsor, Asun Remote, you don't have to worry anymore. Asun is a free-to-download application software from macOS, Windows, and Android that allows you to remotely control your PC using your phone. As can be seen here, I can monitor my flight, control the cameras, and even move things around as needed without having to be anywhere near my monitor. And this doesn't just work for games. As a content creator, I get great peace of mind when I can monitor the status of my video being rendered on my editing software, and having the ability to upload videos to YouTube without physically being at my desk or computer is an absolute godsend. The app does allow keyboard customization as well as mouse support and can also support games up to 144 FPS. So log on to the link in the description section of the video to see all of their expanded payment plans, including a pluggable device that can wake up your PC remotely. Once again, that's Awesome Remote, and you can find out more by clicking on the link in the description section of the video. First up then, some exciting news for aviation enthusiasts and virtual pilots as Orbex's Volanta app unveils a substantial update with the release of version 1.6. Packed with an array of new features and an assortment of fixes, this update is set to elevate your flight tracking experience to new heights. The headline feature of this release introduces an engaging way to relive your past flights. With the ability to replay completed flights, users can now revisit their aerial journeys, offering the the option to watch flights at varying speeds and zoom in on key events such as precision landings, takeoffs, and more events throughout the flight. This feature promises to bring a new layer of enjoyment and reflection to your virtual piloting adventures. Another noteworthy addition is the introduction of product recommendations tailored to your active flight's origin and destination airports. Now, for pilots who know their route but seek guidance on compatible add-ons, this feature proves invaluable since you can now pick up payware airports, scenery packs, and more that might be applicable to your particular route as recommended by Volanta Direct. Moreover, the map will smartly highlight products that are geographically proximate during your flight, seamlessly integrating suggestions into your flight experience. Delving deeper into the realism side of things, airports receive a boost with the integration of local time as well as local currency information as you fly close to them. Additionally, the current open slash closed status of airports provides a touch of real world accuracy, further immersing you into the aviation landscape. User interface enthusiasts will appreciate the redesigned map settings panel, enhancing usability and navigation within the app. On the customization front, users can now choose between staple and experimental plugin release channels, providing a tailored experience that suits individual preferences. Aesthetics are given a boost with new aircraft icons, contributing to the visual appeal and recognition factor in the app's interface. The update also addresses multiple issues, including improved tooltips for better user guidance, the ability to view screenshots directly on the map, and the resolution of various visual glitches. Now, for those unfamiliar, Volanta stands as a free and indispensable flight tracking tool compatible with a range of primary desktop simulators. With its ability to 
track other virtual pilots and online ATC interactions, it offers an engaging community aspect of virtual flying. Moreover, for those seeking an enriched experience, Volanta Premium offers an upgrade path with added features, including high-resolution screenshot saving, available at a price of 6.35 Australian dollars monthly. In conclusion, this comprehensive update for Orbex's Volanta app brings a blend of new features and improvements that promise to enhance the virtual flying experience. Whether you're seeking an enhanced replay capability, tailored product recommendations, or an enriched community aspect, version 1.6 offers something for every aviation enthusiast to explore and enjoy. Now, I personally have been simming with Sim Toolkit Pro for a while now, but I might just move away from that platform given this 1.6 update. But what about you guys? Let me know down in the comments comment section below. Next up then, let's talk about headwind simulations. As you wait for Airsoft A330, the headwind A330 is coming into full swing. Now personally, since I haven't covered this aircraft in quite a while on this channel, here's a quick rundown of what the headwind simulation team has been up to so far. So what do we know then? Well, there's already a free A330-900neo existing in the simulator as we speak, and it's available completely for free. Now currently, it is based on Fly-by-Wire's A32NX systems and components, with rather substantial tweaks that make it a pretty decent long-haul airliner option for those of you guys who are looking for that in the simulator. The future of this aircraft project though looks even more exciting. The team is looking to move away from the fly-by-wires models and come up with something of their own, a native A330neo model both externally as well as internally, while maintaining the level of quality similar to that of fly-by-wire with intricately modeled systems and more. As you can see with these pictures, which by the way were provided in June, many components are still based on fly-by-wire A32NX, but it's still very good to see modeling and progress being made. Since then, however, the team has slowly started to transition towards its own custom textures, models, and more, including new lighting effects as you can see in this picture. That brings us to these new images that were only surfaced yesterday. Now keep in mind that everything here that you see is work in progress, but that being said, the progress being made is still pretty fascinating as it's all free and everything here is rather substantive. The images clearly show some more work has been done on the backlighting of the knobs and panels, as well as certain buttons and switches and their placement being made more accurate to match that of the real A330neo. The third MCDU here looks particularly interesting to me personally, and I hope that with the alpha version of the A330-900neo that is currently in development, we will indeed be able to use it. Unfortunately, those are the only images provided for now, but rest assured, we here at Flyby Simulations will be sure to keep you updated on everything the headwind team has yet to offer going forward. We still have more news to cover, so don't go anywhere yet. Next up then, let's talk about some more quality of life improvements and updates made to the Phoenix A320. The team at Phoenix has announced the release of a new update via the Phoenix app. In this latest release, the team has been hard at work refining the flight mechanics for a more seamless experience. The flare phase particularly has been further tuned, and minor floating during landings has been smoothed out. The team has also resolved the flap 3 drag situation that was plaguing a lot of users and addressed the issue of the nose smashing down upon landing, ensuring a smoother touchdown experience for all flights. On the avionics front, the team has diligently polished the VNAV functionality and rectified the interpretation of various restrictions by the aircraft. Several fixes have been implemented to optimize the overall avionics experience, ensuring accuracy and reliability. Now here's where it gets interesting and very applicable to a lot of users. Performance improvements have also taken the spotlight, with the team addressing high CPU usage issues across both the Phoenix Bootstrapper and the Phoenix app itself. This optimization has been made possible thanks to the invaluable feedback provided by you guys, the community, and of course, the Phoenix team appreciates your reports that have aided in these vital fixes. For stability enthusiasts, the team has focused on enhancing the flying experience with multiple crash fixes ensuring smoother flights and reliable operations. Additionally, the panel state selection process has been streamlined, resolving glitches and ensuring seamless functionality. Now, I'm personally yet to test this particular aspect of the Phoenix A320, but given that it's in the patch notes, I'm assuming it has indeed been rectified. So do leave it down in the comment section below if you guys have had any personal experience with this and tell me if it has indeed been streamlined. Finally, the talented art team has been diligently working based on your valuable feedback. 
A series of fixes have been implemented to enhance the visual experience, making flights even more immersive. Now for a truly holistic experience, the Phoenix team have also managed to incorporate sound improvements, enhancing the auditory aspect of your flights as well. All in all, nothing as major as what's going to be coming with Block 2 of the Phoenix A320 set to release in September, but definitely some noteworthy updates to keep us occupied till then. And ladies and gentlemen, that is a wrap on today's jam-packed Microsoft Flight Simulator news update. Your engagement powers our passion, so if you enjoyed the content, drop a like and comment below. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell icon to stay in the loop as well. For deeper connections, join our lively Discord community where aviation enthusiasts unite. A huge shout out to our sponsor for making all of this possible. From Volanta's feature-packed update, to the Headwind A330's exciting journey, and Phoenix A320's quality improvements, it's been a riveting ride. Stay tuned for more updates, insights, and thrilling content here at Flyby Simulations. Keep flying high, and thanks for flying by!